Okay, you ready? Yep. Go. Hello, Three Creek members. Thank you for coming to our first rules clinic last night. We thought Joe and here is with me, and we're going to run a quick little video on one of the situations we talked about last night that kind of had everybody surprised. And it was how to take relief from an immovable obstruction, in this case, a cart path. So you can see my ball is kind of right in the middle of the path. One thing to remember, there's only one nearest point of relief. In this case, the way to determine that one point, I would come over here to the right where I really don't want to be. I would make my stance, set the club down where the ball would be. In this case, I'm going to use these alignment rods. And so you can see it, kind of stick that down in the ground. So that's point A. Now I'm going to come over, take my stance, put where the ball would be. I'd put another alignment rod on the golf course. I'd be using a golf tee and one of these two rods is closer to the golf ball. As you can see in this case, I'd be lucky and it would be the one on the right. So I would come over here. Now remember when I take my relief, I have to take complete relief. I'll grab my golf ball. I can drop the ball within one club length of this spot. We use a driver. I would determine that the spot was right here. I would drop my golf ball. The golf ball's in play. Move my tee, and I'm ready to play golf. Now, as you can tell, that could be a completely different scenario if I was left-handed. Because I was, if I was left-handed, and I came over here, away from the cart path, my nearest point of relief is here. And in this case, since the ball was right in the middle, the nearest point of relief would actually be on this side. So depending if I'm a right or left hander, depending on where the good grass is compared to the native area, will all depend my nearest point of relief. I hope that helps you. And I'm going to have another of these rule seminars. Joe and I are going to try to do them pretty frequently. And I hope you'll come next time. Have a good night.